It is. Howdy, howdy, everyone. How's it going today? Welcome back. We're here with more L.A. Noir. Hopefully everybody's having a good uh, Thursday. I almost said Wednesday. Not sure why. Um, hey, Zagbu, how's it going? Um, hopefully everyone's having a good Thursday. I... I am, once again, thrown off a little bit today. But that's alright. It's gonna get better. I hope. I think. Maybe? I don't know. Who's to say? God damn, I need a haircut. I am good. Hope you are doing good, too. I am doing. Been a hellacious week at work. Love the gold shirt. And matching tie. I coordinate. Actually, this was a set. I got this from somebody. It was a set. But, thank you. Actually, I think... I think, legitimately, this might be the first time I've worn this. Like, legitimately, this certain tie, I think it's the first time I've worn it. Um, which is weird. Because I don't dislike the color. I just feel like I rarely go anywhere where, like, I want to be both bright and well-dressed. But, you know. Um... We are in our final two missions, I believe, of the Vice Desk. Um, which is exciting. And we're going to see if something works. Something that has not been working all fucking week, and I don't know why. Hey, they worked! You can find me at any one of these up here, or the easily clickable links right there in the chat, or in the description below if you're watching in the future on YouTube. Um, I have no idea how those got fixed, because I didn't do anything to them. But I did restart my computer. My computer was acting real weird. Yes, absolutely. Air, air horns all around, clapping. Oh my God. Mario. Mario. I don't know why this one particular sound always takes a long fucking time to go. So we're just gonna wait here for it. Um, Cause I pressed the button. I'm afraid to press it again because it might happen again, but. You can guess as to what sound it is. Um, but. Do it again. I, I have pressed it yet again. I got those. I had to look because I legitimately was like, if that button corresponds. Okay, I thought there were... Hmm. It's routed correctly, and I don't know why it doesn't work. Anywho. Because that one worked fine. Never mind, I lied. Oh, okay, most of them aren't working. Cool. Thanks, Loop Deck. Fucking Logitech buys Loop Deck. <laughs> or they all just took their time and uh, just worked. Hmm. Okay. Um, that is a thing I'll figure out later, I guess. Once again, Logitech buys Loop Deck and it goes immediately down the fucking drain. Bad enough Logitech already killed uh, Blue Mike. But, we got some detecting to do. And I want to get through these two cases. So we're going to get through these two cases. Resume. There we go. Ooh, which by the way... My notebooks finally came. 187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide All of them. Over there. 
The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. I'm so excited. All right, army morphine. That's all we have to go on. Use them all for. Um, I'm going to just hoard them like a dragon sitting on the top of a pile of gold. Now, um, so far I already have the different sized ones earmarked for different things. People judge me with you on my arm same way they so like fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. This one is a daily planner. So I'm going to try to use this to get more organized. Um, these little ones are going to be journals. So everything I send will be extra delayed. That's fair. Um, we're taking a moment for notebook time. These ones are going to be journals that I'm going to use for, like, journaling. These big ones are going to be for, like, Honey Moth. These big ones are going to be for, like, um, like general ideas, writing stuff on my desk, that stuff. And these ones I intended to carry around with me as, like, a... We got things to do. My hottie, my toddy. The only problem is, I thought these were going to be shorter. Like, I thought they'd be about this tall, rather than as tall as they are. Because these are, um, these are like journalist notepads. And, like, my idea was, like, oh, they'll fit inside, like, a, a jacket pocket. But they're kind of tall for that. I also didn't realize they were a two-pack. But, like, I like the idea of having something I can just kind of flip open and write on. And tear pages out that I'm not too you know, sad about tearing out. Here's we off not reading descriptions. Uh oh. What what descriptions am I not reading? Oh, for the books, yeah. Would it be fair? Yeah, no, I should I should have because now I'm looking at it, it's like double wiring Wake up and it's three by three point seven five by eight point two five. I should have. It does say it clearly on, like, the front. Like, it does say clearly on the front what size they are. Yeah. No, that... I'll, I'll take... I'll take the hit for that one. And the amount of multi-packs you've gotten. Yeah, to be fair, I knew these were two-packs. The bigger notebooks. I knew these were three-pack. And I knew this was a single book. You know, which by the way, like, look how thick that cover is. Like the card or like the particle board cover. She's thick. And I have two, uh, I have two leather journal covers for them. I mean, you know, you've made it if you got that desk. I'm expecting to be multiple of. Hey. Um, yeah, I fucked up the, um, I looked and I did click on the five pack instead of the two pack, but this one particularly, like, I can put two notebooks in, so I have a journal on one side and a, uh, like, I just a normal notebook on the other. Rough zooming through ordering. Yeah, to be fair, the, the green notebook, these ones were a five pack I thought they were a three pack that was just me not reading shit this one I just completely blanked on admittedly this one I thought the I thought the idea of it was cool speed run no percent and this I bought because I thought it was so I was not going to be able to fit two books in one of them so I wanted one for my journal and one for general like carrying around and because I'm a fancy boy who likes having leather-bound books. Don't judge me. Look, I'm very efficient with my money, okay? I, I order things I deliberately intend to order, and I don't waste my money. Okay? Where the fuck's the... Oh, there it is. I was about to curse and be like, where the fuck's the exit? And it's, it's right in front of me. You have adult things in adult money, do you? 
So that's the thing. It's like... Seem distracted. I am of the we opinion... the morphine. All my bills are paid. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. I... We did our job. Work a lot. Closing one case opens I deserve to buy nice things when I want them. Idea what is really going on while we're wasting our because if I work solely to pay bills... I'm going to walk into the river like Godzilla Deals being done right now will at the end of the, the movie. Of LA forever, and we're like, our time on some hump. eight hour glass bell the other girl. day because I thought it was pretty. The at the end of the month Back out, the lights King red. Going. It's almost like blood red. Okay, that sounds dope, though. Also, can we all preach how... Preach? Can we all appreciate how while looking at Chad, I was able to navigate through that intersection without hitting anything? Cause that was fucking skillful. Okay, that time I hit something, admittedly. But yeah, I'm of the firm opinion, like, I don't work just to, like, pay bills. Like, I, like, if I don't, like, if I can't, like, buy myself things I want or enjoy, like, like, what the fuck's the point? Yes, and there was a whole, this is since uh, when I'm poor and live with my parents. That's understandable. Like, don't get me wrong, like, reasonably buy the things you want. Like, but like, you know, buy dumb shit, enjoy dumb shit. The, wor the world's ending anyway, you know? I hit cinematic camera and my siren and everything goes wrong. I also have one of these uh, green notebooks earmarked for, uh, for like working recipes. So like while I'm doing things like making the meads or like trying new things, I can kind of write the recipe out and kind of scratch things out and rewrite things and all before I, like, put it in my official, like... That's it. Who else is going to use it if I die tomorrow? Exactly. Who? But yeah, because I keep most of my recipes on my phone, but I tend to only write them after I'm done. And I use a lot of, like, little scraps of paper. Like, instead of, um, instead of, like, a more concise way to write it. And, realistically, it's just waiting for me to lose one. Second floor apartment six. Okay. Um, like, I use scrap paper often from work. And, like, that's just begging me to occasionally, like, put one in a pocket and then put my pants in the washer. You know? So I figured I'd earmark a book for that because I got plenty now. Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Good job, Good Stefan. You two want a hug? Ah, uh, this Can dickhead. Relax, Rusty. Ain't you got occupational drinking to do, Rusty? Six years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by cleaning. Fashion ladies. model. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks. Carruthers so. likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. You know, we haven't... Speaking of outfits, we haven't changed outfit in a while. We're rapidly running out of... Ooh, the Chicago Lightning. That looks fun. Helps. Well, at least she's got a towel on her this time. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. <clears throat> she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. I think I'm getting sick. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. Um, the result is that a lot I'm all of like... is generated. This congested at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? You might get um, that didn't look like drowning injuries. 
Take a closer look at her head and neck. The neck is bruised pretty badly. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's just because, like, our weather's been up and down lately. Yeah, generally speaking, drowning doesn't, like, present as being strangled. Not today and have a mysterious throat. Why well, you gotta phrase it like that? I've been sicker than a dog. I guess it must be going around or something. Very unusual ring. We went from freezing as fuck to 60s like and I'm dying. Out. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm thinking of it. Like, I think it's just like the this yo-yo back and forth weather. Why does it look like she was bitten? Like, those look like teeth marks. Bruising on the forearms, and these look like bite marks. Very good. It was clearly a zombie. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. It spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find... Trail of barbiturates is my new uh, indie folk rock cool. band. And there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay. So find two guys who recently bought Surrettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Is it her in these photos? She's something else. Which apparently we're also max le No, I don't want to... I want to examine the barbiturates. I'm not sure where you are. Right, right. But a girl like that? Maybe she's having trouble with some boys, huh? Okay, I, apparently I can't examine the barbiturates. Optimistic, Cole. You could be so pretty, Cole. Use the stream as background noise to sleep tonight. Well, if you fall asleep, Maul, well, thank you for being here. I hope you sleep well and have a lovely day tomorrow. And a lovely weekend. As always, thank you for popping in. We get the uh, the good nights and all that preemptively done. Of course, I don't... You didn't say you were actively going anywhere, so... Hmm. I hear something jingling in this grinder. Barbiturates. Barbiturates. Rattling around in this thing. <gasps> I don't know what this is. Take one capsule after a meal daily. Twenty. Ah, it's drugs. Oh no! I meant I was gonna try to sleep. I maybe go radio silent. That's fair. I did, just didn't want to make assumptions is all. But like I said, sleep well. I hope you have a lovely night. Looks like barbiturates. You know, I'm starting to get... I'm starting to get the hint that this, uh... This fashion model might be on barbiturates. Quality English smoking jacket. Hmm. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. I would wear a smoking jacket. Realistically, I think it's kind of surprising I don't own a smoking jacket. Because it seems like the kind of outlandish thing I would wear. And I do love velvet. Maybe I should buy a smoking jacket. This is all top end of town stuff. Gives us mm. somewhere to look. Wait a minute. Could have been a modeling assignment. Dash nine. It's place to start. Working Tuesday. Come keep me company. Ask for Miss Randall. Julia. Hmm. I feel like this would work better if I could remember the victim's name. Nothing back here. Oh no. Beautiful girl. Her clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. There's a reference I feel like nobody really gets. Sears is completely gone, right? Sears is dead. 
I feel like Sears is dead. Used to be back in the day, Sears was pretty much where you got everything. You know? Sears isn't 100% dead. Yet. I doubt it. F Sears, damn. Oh, F4 Sears. I was about to say, Zagbu's got some strong opinion on fucking Sears. But say, what did what did Sears like kick your dog or some shit? I mean, I get it. I have irrationally hated some dumb shit, but you know, well, one of their DIY houses though. They have DIY houses. I have no strong opinions of Sears. I'm both surprised that Sears has DIY houses and that Sears still exists. Because, like, I can't remember the last time I saw a Sears. I'll put it this way. The last time I saw a Sears, I went with my dad. And my dad's been dead for, like, six years now. All right. God damn, it's been almost ten years. That can't be right. But... I'm Detective Phelps. The math ain't mathing on that. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson. Anywho, I'm just so um, shocked. The passage of time has shocked I feel me. Like there's something I should be doing. Someone I should call. Well, that's the thing. Like, at that point, is it just the name? Because, like, back in the day, Sears used to be a brand. I don't know. Like, if you needed anything, Sears was the place to go for it. You need tools, Sears. You need family portrait taken, Sears. Lingerie, Sears. I, I, Underwear by the pound, Sears. The the other they can try and get in contact. Home goods, Sears. You need a washer and dryer, Sears. All of it. Upset. No more than normal. I'm a little depressed about something upset. Hmm. I think the sleeping pills indicate that she was probably upset about something. Julie was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You know what? I, I often bitch. About how like Red Dead Redemption is one of those games where it's just better with a controller. I don't know how she supports. And I feel like Grand Theft Auto probably the same thing. Do clothes and jewelry. This is also she bad like keyboard and mouse setup. I think Rockstar just does bad keyboard and mouse setup. Does modeling really pay that well? Because I'm fairly certain this didn't come out on PC right away. Like, Did Miss Randall have I think this friends? came out later. I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Um, yeah, black ring, two homicide suspects. You know, you know barb double bill, silver box, this guy's home sleeping. Benzene. Oh, it's a men's smoking jacket. She is not a men's. So there at least is a man who comes by. And she's clearly lying. Because she's like hardcore looking Wilson? away. Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. That's one I never understood. Not speaking ill of the dead. I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. Oh, Lord. You seem very much in love with him. Where would we find him? I'm sorry. My Coca-Cola fizzed. Enjoy the slurping ASMR. Though. Actually, I don't think the microphone picked up the big slurp. Like working for Miss Randall. Perfectly the big out, slurp. Sir. Okay. 
I don't think I have anything to pin her for lying about the job sucks. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't think I have anything that points to... So I'm going to doubt because she's looking around and shit. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. I wish people were this easy to read in real life. Lovely I'd play a lot more poker. You the next. She wanted it all. She wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Slurp louder. Mrs. Reynoldson, you've been very helpful. <clears throat> One of the other detectives will take you. <clears throat> For your aural pleasure. Okay, the music stopped. That means I found everything. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? Here we go. Sorry, Caps. No, 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 no. Caps. You, think Carruthers has called it right? Right. you, you were very excited it. about the slurping. I don't know. I'm with Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. Back to the car. Where's Rusty's car? Can I steal Rusty's car? No? Okay. Goddamn game won't let me steal another co-worker's car. Uh, let's go to... I don't like it this isn't crossed off. Let's go to Dr. Stoneman. Fuck you, Roy. Also, hold up a second. I just realized I set going to a street crime and then didn't. Like I just abandoned a street crime. Huh. Hopefully I can get that one back. I don't know. I have to finish a street crime so it'll tell me how many street crimes I have left. Which I'm sure there's a way to sack, probably in the menu, but I'm not doing that right now. Absolutely not. So it was like extra foggy today because of the warmer weather and all the snow and the rain. Um, like I couldn't see across the parking lot to the warehouse from my booth. It was that kind of like, holy Toledo. No, I cannot. God damn it. Roy came with me. Absolutely fireproof. Hmm. Okay, he's not on the first or second floor. There we go. Fifth floor, 505. Stoneman, office 505. I often wonder when there's a big list of names in a game, whether they're references to anything. Like, if those are developers or like if we locked up every doctor anything like that. Vice would be able to work half days. Oh, God forbid you have to work, Roy. Dr. Stoneman, there we go. Yes, sir, your name? Police. LAPD. We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with the patient. Would you like to wait? No. So Facebook Marketplace has my fucking number. There's no need to be rude. Save They've it, been sister. serving me up Dr. fucking Stoneman, typewriters right lately. Gentlemen. From the LAPD here to see you. Like everything from like more modern electric typewriters to like older. To like older, um, Your investigation like is much manual ones. Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of and it's like, Julia Randall. Um, do I want to fuck around? 
and buy a typewriter. Do you mind if we ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Uh, um, not if it doesn't compromise doctor-patient privilege, detective. How well did you know Miss Randall? Fairly at all. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. Obviously, of course I should. 46. Um, it is 1947 right now, and July is halfway through the year, so it's been more than six months. You lying son of a bitch. How much are they? Oh, they range. Like, Julia Randall the cheapest ones I've seen were like 50 bucks. The most expensive ones were like four or 500. My veracity, detective? Like, the range of prices is real business. wide. Like, and I'm sure if I, like, if I really look around, I could probably find a good deal, but. She was jumped up on Benzedrine by day and knocked down by sleeping pills at night. That more or less depends on how much work I want to put in looking for it. And, like, but I also don't actively want one. I think it'd be cool to have, but I don't think I actively want one. So I don't have, like, a, oh, I want a manual one with, you know, from this era with this kind of feature set. You know, like, if I actively wanted one, I would have, like, a bit more direction in what I'm looking for, and I'd be able to narrow down price a bit better. I didn't listen to a word he fucking said. It's not legal to text a lot of young men online or use it for weight loss. You wrote Julia Randall for the How do you account for that? Miss Randall was in the fashion business. Do y'all know she was in, a, uh, in the fashion business? Who would have thunk? She wanted to control her weight. Oof. I don't like that. I don't think I have anything to... Modeling job? That would corroborate, not challenge. Oh, I guess I'm done with that. Um, Benzedrine doubt. is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty. Isn't that well. what the cigarettes and uh, the booze is for? She was involved in. Back then. <laughs> That'll be all for now, Doctor Stoneman. We'll be in touch. All right. Hey, buddy, you. Fuck you and your sciatica. Can Cole, can Cole drink from this water fountain? No. Okay. I found out last, uh, the other day that Cole can drink from the water coolers at the police stations. So now every time I see a water cooler in this game, I kind of want to see if he can drink from it. And I think it's only the ones in the police station. Which is upsetting. Uh, Cole is thirsty and needs to stay hydrated. The old boy is lying. About what? Yes. I don't know. He looked relieved when you said she was dead. That's a strange reaction to have to the death of a young patient. Um, let's go to the dress store, I guess. All right. Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private until it gets in the way of. How so very work. progressive of you, And it's Cole. only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. It's true, doctors. Christ alive! This is a nightmare. Well, Roy, I forgot to hit the turn button when I hit the brakes. So I just kind of went careening into a direction, okay? It happens to the best of us. Specifically me. I am the best of us. I miss when stores had fun shapes like this. Like, that's a cool-looking building. 
Like it's got that like green, the green like marble on the outside, the gold round front. Well, hello. Ma'am, you good? LAPD, ma'am. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Mm. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. Tokyo Drifter, L.A. Noir. If you play it right, it can be both. How are you today? How long had Julia worked as a model? Cole, worked Cole Phelps was uh, is a great She's detective. Terrible girl. driver. Okay, she's holding gaze, so I'm gonna ins I'm gonna say truth. Could you tell like, us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands right down camera. Sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. I reckon that's a thing that's uh, done with nowadays, where like you'd go to buy a dress. Yes. Because I clearly know a lot about buying a Would dress. You like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Um, Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, Like, officer. I assume that that's okay. not a thing anymore. Where they would have somebody come out and model a dress I'm for you. Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? Lives a fast life. Oh, no. <laughs> Goddamn Cole. I mean, Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. Look at that hair texture. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like that is it? just flat. Henry gave it to I'm me. Very interested in look at the expression of characters. Make this game. They say to look at the facial expression of characters. Make it in this game to make your decisions. Yeah, it. To be fair, it is really cool. It's That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost a pearl ring, you say? Um, you must really love you. Like, they say it's, like, it was really cool for the time period. It has not aged the best. Because it tends to be, they overact a lot of the reactions. Like, she is looking right at us. And essentially, all you gotta do in this game is follow the eye line. And, like, match the evidence if you're gonna accuse them of lying. When they lock eyes onto one specific point and stay there, they're telling the truth. Like, that's... Henry, it's really not that hard to kind of deduce. Yes, he is. And sometimes it'll Henry be bigger, like, it'll be a bigger he reaction if they're lying. But most of the time it's like, they'll like scrunch up their face like, like they're like proud of themselves for getting one over on you. Are Ms. Randall and, and at the time it was really cool because we didn't have a ton of, um, we didn't have a ton of facial capture in games back then. There was a bit for like cutscenes and all, but nothing as expressive as this. So it was really cool. But what, 14 years later I'm now? Sure okay, Siri, you calm your tits. Um, 14 years later, though, it's not as impressive because we have far better mocap now. Like, she has not looked away from me yet. She's telling the truth. A it's a cool gimmick. Someone I'll give it that. It's a really cool gimmick. A man named Henderson to me. But unfortunately, it hasn't aged now, gracefully. Could you ask your fiance to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Hmm. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. Getting real uppity for a woman in the 1940s. I don't like that sentence. I don't like that I even said it. She was so full of life. Not anymore, she's not. <laughs> they they took the life right out of her, I'd say. Also, these are a wild thing that don't exist. Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. Anymore, at least. How could I help, detective? Like phone boxes used to be like a legitimate thing. Like, you see them everywhere. Because, uh, 
Please. I love old photography, so I've looked through a considerable amount of old photography. And you see them all over. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. Um, actually, I'll post it in the Discord after stream. But I actually have, I think, a picture of a firebox like that. Like a red one for a fire department from um, Salem. Um, from Salem, uh, Massachusetts. While we were there nice on vacation, I think I saw one. If I remember the picture correctly, I took it with a Polaroid. It was years ago. Very but I figured we'd get more one of my favorite photos, of course, the red looks fucking gorgeous in that photo. But. God damn it. Every last scratch. I will say, I think Rockstar did kind of figure out the, uh... Nope. I fucked this up bad. Um, I think Rockstar did figure out the cinematic camera thing. The cinematic camera has always kind of just been in Rockstar games, but not a thing that anybody can use with any real, uh, real reliability. And... I think they really figured it out for Red Dead 2. Because Red Dead 2 does it so well where it's like, hey, you enter cinematic camera, too fast Open to travel. Your eyes. Really starting to annoy you. You're driving right at them. I'm not driving right at them. I just used to work up in Salem every once in a while delivering beers for a brewery I work for. Oh, cool. It's a cool area. Um, I, like, I did really enjoy, we went there, um, right after Halloween, I want to say. Detectives Phelps and Earl, here to see the So everything had, like, the nice, yes, like, fall foliage look and all. Waiting for you in the examination. Um, I love old areas. It's, like, it was a little, um, like, around that, like, main touristy area was very touristy, but it wasn't bad. Roy, I have some information for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising. I did love that there was a um. So we have two killers. It stuck with me. There was a uh, liquor store down by the water there, called Bunghole Liquor. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. Like. I have something else to show you. Good name. They had a great neon sign too. All right, Mal. What gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So God what? damn. Good riddance. I found two surrettes in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. The list came out. No sign of Roy's a piece of shit. And no metabolized morphine in his blood. Squirt like I am I'm gonna die on this hill. Roy Roy Earl's a piece of shit. Of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying laughing boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Cole Phelps, feet man. He started at the toes. So it's a good time to go there. Go there, of course, it's good to go in the off season is what the locals say. Yeah, all the locals we talked to kind of had the same idea. It's like Halloween, while a giant, like, a big deal up there, like, realistically, early November through winter is kind of like Sorry, the best no, time like, to go. I don't know if it's significant. I have a Horner um, harmonica the somewhere. The things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. It's um, mine's an E, I believe. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. It's also crushed to hell, like the out, send him over. the uh, top. My nose is so fucking. They have a guy itchy. called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Is uh, you know how you get on, sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. But yeah, like, uh, I did really enjoy I'd like to go back. Um, Arnett is an interview, too, Phelps. Go help him get whatever it is off his chest. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. 
the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. Relationship with the victim. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business and Julia occasionally. Yeah, yeah, we get where everybody's in the fashion business. Holding my. He's holding. Yeah, okay. Uh oh. We were friends. I got that wrong. He didn't look around, though. I'll give him that. He's a better liar than he thought. An older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. See, but now he's looking around and shit. What do we have on him? Morphine, no. Possible suicide, no. I got like a little scratch the state thing for Christmas, and now I want to go on a big trip to add more states. I mean, I'm I'm personally a massive fan of road trips. Okay. Record band from the road, pretty cool. I'd like to check it out sometime. Is that up uh, that way? Like towards Massachusetts? Because that does sound cool. Henry, um, I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named but yeah, no, like I'm a big fan of like road trips and like going places. I mean, it's just a hassle of getting to name. places often is a problem. I think he's from New York or something. I think it's in like Michigan. Ah, I've never been to Michigan. That's funny. Julia told her cleaning lady that he lived in San Francisco. Um, okay, you got me. I don't know where he's from. Julia wanted money. Hmm. She always wanted money. Um, Michigan okay, seems like it'd be a cool place to visit. Oddly enough, I have a friend who lives up in Detroit, and the way she, like, the way she shares, like, what's going on up there and, like, shows what hap like what she does in the city makes it look really interesting and kind of, like, kind of cool to visit. Should I have? Is he an entertainer or something? Does That is a very entertaining name, but you definitely know who he is. So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall. Love the glove thing. If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc. Oh, guy. Michigan Mitten. Yeah, okay. Heather told us that you I got you. Fashion. That's right. Do you visit Connor and Hank from Detroit become human? Once I got out of the core, I, I still, you were in the I still haven't played... Detroit Become About Human, them. both in my uh, in my personal time. Yes. Crazy being now, especially with the Lions making a playoff run. Uh, yeah. Companies. We had a lot of casualties. I imagine they take football kind of seriously up there. Although, to be fair, their team is the Lions, so, like, who historically have not been a good team. I actually know, don't know shit about football. I could be completely wrong that about that. son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have him get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. Cole Phelps running a running a sting here. Because we didn't have enough of those. In the last mission. He's in that car at the light. There's a very yellow car. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? This? Actually, maybe you don't. This is one of those things I hate tailing people in this game. Because I'm never quite sure how, it's, how it works. Like, or what's going to tip them off that I'm following them. I'm not gonna lie. Tuesday, I spent like a good 15, 20 minutes following the wrong I dude. I a cat like Arnett to be a better no, in a while. I don't think they've been to the Super Bowl either. Cool to see if they win Sunday. I mean, yeah. Like, I could... I could definitely see how that would be, like, exciting if you're a fan of theirs. I am, uh, completely apathetic to football. I actually play a game every year. I, pl I play a little personal game with myself. Um, where I 
go to see how long it, how long I can go without knowing a who was in the Super Bowl or who won the Super Bowl, like after it happens. Like, I have to sneak behind somebody. I never know. What does it have to be from? Yeah, it's like. And well, the thing is, if you get into like car accidents and shit, it alerts them. But like stopping in the middle of the road 50 feet behind them doesn't. What's wrong with you? Too close, Phelps. Way too close. I'm trying. Roy? How do you own them? How are you today? I'm tailing somebody. Poorly. Don't mind me. Also, who tails somebody in a bright red Cadillac? I heard something about this. It's true, you did kind of come in right after I talked about football. Um, now, I was explaining how, um, cause uh, Seagriff was talking about how the Lions are apparently having a pretty good run right now. I was summoned. And I said how every year I play a game where I see how long I can go without knowing who was in the Super Bowl, let alone who won the Super Bowl. And there are years where instantly I've failed. And there are years where I can go indefinitely without knowing who was in it or who won. The only years I don't play it are the years the Eagles are in it because it's literally impossible for me not to hear about it. Get in there and find out what he won. I'll stick with um, you. Which you're aware of the game I play. We've talked about this before. I get closer. Huff it, Phelps. I'll bring the car around when I'm done here. Fuck you, I can see him. It's blinking like I'm too far away, but like I can literally see him. Okay, or I guess I won't go incognito. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. When I can play, I don't. And I don't ruin it on purpose. Yeah, no, you you have always been fairly accommodating for me playing that game. I'll tell if someone's tailing me on the road. If it wasn't a cop, I'd call the cops on someone. Well, that's kind of the, um, like, the advice everybody says about if you're being tailed is, like, drive to a police station. Because he saw me. Yeah. Um, if you're being tailed drive to, in a car, drive to a police station. And the way to tell if you're being tailed, make four of the same turn. If somebody's following you, they will drive in a circle with you. If they aren't following you, well, you figured it out. They're not following you. Like, but you don't want to, like, try to run away because that can be dangerous in its own right. You very calmly just drive to a police station, you know? And if you, nowadays, like, you have the luxury of cell phones. You can call 911 while you're on the way there and say, hey, somebody's following me. He needs money and fast. Don't drive home, yeah. Don't drive home or to wherever you're heading. Because you don't want to give them the information of that. Because following somebody doesn't necessarily mean like a current and implicit threat. It can very well mean information gathering, which is has its own problems. You know? Like you don't necessarily want to show somebody following you where you live or where you work, you know? Once again, radar, stop fucking blinking at me. I can see the motherfucker, like. Which also, to be fair, if you're following somebody on foot, you don't follow them on the same side of the road. You follow them from the other side of the road. 
Like, to be fair, there are tips for also following somebody. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Oh, come on. Be creepy and try to stalk you nowadays. Yeah. Would well, be fair, like... So, while human trafficking is a legitimate issue, because we're getting there now, we've, we've arrived at this conversation. Human trafficking is a legitimate issue. All the crap you see on, like, Facebook and all, where it's like, human traffickers are putting napkins under your windshield wipers to make you touch them to make you to drug you that's not a real thing like all of those like the zip ties on the door handles a piece of trash on your hood all of that um has been like thoroughly debunked and a lot of people say well why you know why you know why not just let people be worried about it that way they're more aware it's like while being more aware is great a lot of those also take away good information and dilute good information to help actually stop that. Um, Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Actually, you know what? Fuck this. I know where he's heading. Feel like slack. I once again can see him. Like, this is the right way to follow somebody across the street. Like, I don't need to be right up his ass. I can visually see him. Um. But they... It is actually pretty easy to tail somebody... Because a lot of people are also very wrapped up in their own shit. No way you saw me. I'm around the fucking corner, asshole. Now I'm getting mad about it. Lion Knight. Most video stalking missions on foot don't take in how much pe people don't pay attention. Yeah. I mean, to be fair... Wow, I fucked this up so much. They're like... Do you just want to skip it? Is this a little too hard for little baby? Does baby want to skip this part? Oh, God damn it, I meant to hit no. That's right, Mexico City. One way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that, that needs okay? to be a clip. It's going to have to be. <laughs> God damn it. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. Where's my, again, where's my button for a stream marker? What have no, you really. got? Which one of these buttons has you stream markers? Mexico City. Tomorrow night. That's good. But this is better. Oh my god. It's Fabergé. Should have seen there the look go. on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large. Oh, well, that is pretty. Case. Arnett only got 600 clams. No, I... God damn it, game. I'm just fucking off today. Where's this phone it's telling me to go to? Oh, it's all the way across the fucking street. Talks for 9 million degrees in here. Operator, give and me I'm dispatch. very warm. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Yes, 
Detective, Detectives Bukowski and Galloway request you return to Hollywood Station. They have information in the Julia Randall case. Ooh. Any luck with the arrest record check on Jimmy LeBlanc? Yes, Detective. Jimmy LeBlanc's last arresting officer was Patrolman Fred Wallace. He's posted the Hollywood Ninth Beat Sunset Boulevard between Gordon and Wilcox. Okay. Thanks. Good. Good. Please let me steal this. I cannot steal this. Okay. Funny how I know what the lady over the phone will say. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, if you play this enough, I feel like it. the lines are the kind... Oh, I straight up missed something here. I had to have missed something here. Alright, back to Zolia's apartment. And... You know the way. You can drive. Roy Earl can drive. Fuck Roy Earl. I'm, like, completely bungling this a case. one-way ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. What's his motive? I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. Like one guy plus two days. Because I feel like I've done pretty well, all things considered, through all the other cases. Like I haven't missed much. Because, like I said, it's a combination of I've played this before, like more than once, and like it's not a terribly difficult game. Like as long as you know how the mechanics work, it's not too bad. I've only missed a couple things, though. I want to know if it'll let me. It will. Okay, cool. I missed something in here because it isn't crossed off. Hopefully, it's not too late. Iron. Oh, and there's definitely something here. But I swear to God, if it's these fucking barbiturates. Okay, it's not the brush. In a minute, I'm about to use my fucking intuition to to figure it out. I got that. I got the barbiturate. I remember getting that. You know what? This place is small. Playing somewhere when you find all the clues. Yeah. So also, it won't... The game is kind enough to not let you use up all your intuition points on a place you've already cleared. It says the clue is right here. Is there something I missed with this fucking brush? Not much help. Like... No, God damn it, Cole. Oh, shit, this is the weirdest leak. This is the weirdest configured bathroom I've ever seen. I have no idea what I fucking... I... How did... Okay, this room is clearly too far over. Is there something on the roof? Like... Try until dawn. I played that game and didn't find it scary, surprisingly. I want to do Until Dawn on here, but unfortunately I've seen a bunch of playthroughs of Until Dawn, so I already know a bunch of what can happen in the game, 
which is a little unfortunate. I'm kind of like trying to put some space between me and the game to kind of forget it. Um, but until dawn, I do, uh, I do think we'll probably soon, maybe not next, but certainly soon, be looking at, um, one of the, one of the Dark Pictures games, because I have not seen much of any of those. Um, actually, no, fuck this, Roy. You're driving to here, too. You can drive. Also, is it just me, or is it weird that, like... They just announced an Until Dawn movie. When the whole point of Until Dawn was to be a video game purpose of a movie. Do I own purses done playthrough or use dice for major decision set? Oh, I kind of like that. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. Shit's happening. In a moment, I'm going to write that down. Wallace, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. Um, but that's a good idea. Give me a speed boost, Wallace. That dude took two bullets in the face before he dropped. I've lost... I've lost grip on my keyboard and everything's going a little wonky now. I shot him in the spine. Thanks. Outstanding warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. One of my many, many notebooks. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. We had Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. He got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. Do you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. It's a big help. You haven't done too badly yourself. Which, by the way, Willie? What is this about a Willie? I did end up getting myself a second fountain pen. This one's blue. And, like, the nib is blue. It's very pretty. Gonna do the makeup TikToker thing. Like, look at how pretty that is. But I did also literally just buy the exact same pen in a different color. So I have two of them. And I didn't buy purple. Purple was an option. I resisted the urge to buy the purple one. Can you drive to this one? You're suggesting yeah, um, the Dark Pictures anthology, uh, one of the, like, a strong man those games are all on the list, and I'll be playing those sooner. Soon. Um, but. But yeah, I have been. That's the plan. We caught up with Mao. He's given us the dope on the block. <laughs> he was burglary with a big guy. Goes by the name of Willie. Roll for Sandwich. Did you work at the boxing gym the That's what I was thinking of. Since when have you started giving orders, Phelps? And where is the burglary angle? There was no sign of a... That's where our net comes in. Next stop, we speak to Lacey about a list of recent burglaries. The guy's a bum. His office is a front, and he's behind on the rent and his phone bill. And he's skipping town. 
tomorrow. Let's get him in and beat it out of him. Do you um, want to bring in the killer, Rusty? You could be too smart for your own good, Phelps. We've been talking about that, haven't we? Look at these two pieces of shit together. On Finbar? Sir, I need the contraband list. Item stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Is the cigarette case on there? Emerald earrings. Wireless radio, $40. They had wireless radio. Oh, yeah. Gold, gold Fabergé. It's here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Um. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Hmm. So, two items that we have recovered are from this theft list. Um, Bible. $250 Bible? Christ. Literally. Billfold, approximately $300 cash, assorted clothing, including satin, ball gown, bond certificates, silverware, four knives, spoons, and forks, pearl earrings, S. Cohen. I was into Lego video games when I was younger. The Lego games I always heard were, like, pretty quality. I never actually played any of them. Seems Julie wasn't the first bored society girl to hide her bennies in that pillbox. The pillbox, yes. Crystal decanter. Ooh, a Mont Blanc uh, fountain pen. I know what that is. Gold candelabra. Uh, billfold. All right, I think we've gotten everything we need out of this list. Okay, it didn't chime when I came out of it, so... Need a drink. I got the jitters again. All right, let's see what that gets me. The Everstrom Rev Residence. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. The Lego games, though, I always heard they were pretty good. It was Indiana Jones. Was pretty, 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 pretty fun to play. I actually have never played any of them. I've heard good things. Particularly about the old Rusty ones. Had his best ever clearance rate working with you. Even if the cases he worked on can't be discussed. We were just comparing notes. You're a Boonaroo case man, Phelps. What the fuck does that mean? The best I've ever seen. Oh, so you follow this car too closely enough? You, you want to get all up in his back seat? I... Maybe it's because I've been driving a little more lately. I have noticed a lot of people doing way more stupid shit and it pisses me off on the road. Especially since we've had bad weather recently. It's like... Just because you're in a giant pavement princess truck doesn't mean you're invincible. Coming from, from somebody who has primarily owned trucks throughout their life. Like... I am Mrs. Eastrom. How may I tell my partner I'm too lazy to drive and want to take a nap. I actually, surprisingly enough, as somebody who doesn't own a car, no, thank you. but borrows one when I need it, and winds up being a passenger well, often, I actually really dislike you being a passenger. Of my okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria? Can you get the detective a drink, please? Woman's dress is popping. It's a very old lady dress. List of stolen items. Was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> a priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. Who the fuck just owns a tiara? A case that was worth $25,000. Okay. She's not telling the truth. Well, 
Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eastman? Because I don't like sitting in the passenger seat. I just, like, I don't get motion sick or anything. Accusations in my own home. I just am distrustful, I guess. Even with, like, people I implicitly trust to drive, I still feel, I don't like being powerless in that no situation. One knows the real value of an item better than those you know? I but I also don't necessarily like driving. There. Like, I'm good at it. I know how to do it. I just don't enjoy it that much. My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. You know? I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. To be fair, that, like, as somebody with a dope cigarette case, that is a dope cigarette case. And what can like, you tell us I know a thing or two about dope cigarette cases. That terrible night, at least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. Hmm. She's blinking, but like locked eyes. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. Your love control, love being I the driver. The thing is, though, I don't I like control. Don't I don't that. necessarily That's like why. being in control of things. Like, of my things I, see. like, by nature, am generally a very Mrs. agreeable, Eastman. like, the department will get in touch, let you know how you can which is weird problem. to me. We'll get to that in a second. Like, I don't necessarily like being in control. I tend to be very go at the flow because I don't like it. Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in Hello, mother. Uh huh. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my. So I live in New Jersey, where we get all four seasons. We get all four seasons to an extreme. We get cold winters. We get hot summers. We get very rainy falls, we get, or very rainy springs, and, you know, very flowery springs, and we get very, like, color change, crisp fall. engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a ring? I didn't even look for that shit. That's an outrageous allegation. I forgot that entirely. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Um. But I do. I tend to, like, whenever... Is she going to tell me where to go? Um, I tend to notice, though, every time we have any kind of, like, heavy seasonal, like, winter weather, people lose their goddamn minds and don't remember how to drive in it. We get snow almost every year. And, that is obviously arranging the and people forget how to drive in it every year. About. Same thing with heavy rains. And Randall was obviously a part of Look where you're going. Like, and people forget how to drive in it every year. And I don't understand it, because, like, Massachusetts gets a considerable amount of snow every year. There's a very good explanation for all of this. It, what it, it sister, like, I understand somebody in, like, passion, Virginia doesn't know how to drive in snow, or, like, Texas doesn't know how to drive in snow. Fine. They don't experience it. The Californians understand what I'm talking about. They don't know how to drive in snow, it seems like. Because, you know, they never have actual weather. Um, like, that shot's fired directly, directly at Jagboo. Um... People in Teslas don't know how to drive, which is surprising to me. I mean, not really. Teslas, like, I got a pretty hardline stance on Teslas. It's a car that proves that you have more dollars than cents. Like, Phelps. I mean, I don't know anything about bad drivers. I don't. What are you talking? But yeah, like, here, like, I don't see enough Teslas regularly to say, like, what they're all doing? bad drivers. The only Teslas I ever interact with are at work. Where's the bum bum tiss? There you go. Um, but the only Teslas I interact with are at work. And they pull up to the gate stop. I check their credentials and they leave. Like, I don't deal with them more than outside of that. So I really don't have much experience with it. Around here, we have the problem that I feel like most places have, where it's some jackass in a lifted fucking F-250 who that, you know, has never seen a speck of dirt in its life driving like an asshole. 
you know? Because I like trucks. I've always liked trucks, you know? I'm a, I'm a big guy. I kind of like having the extra room in the cab. Like, you know, I've always felt like, you know, like I enjoyed the driving experience of a truck more than a car Christ. usually. But like, these idiots with these fucking trucks with these lift kits and the fucking like big massive like shiny rim tires, you know, where they're unreasonably sized for the roads. Like, those annoy me. I hope you got some money saved up. The city will pay for it. Do security where you check credentials. Yes. Yeah, I, uh, I work in security, so, like, it's like a regular occurrence for me to Come have on, to sister. interact with people Let's and check credentials and things. Really is. Um... Which isn't as hard. It's just like being just mildly oh, vigilant. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you a resident? Fucking police. LAPD detectives. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett. Um, it's uh, not bad though. 30. I do have a lot of downtime at work. Thank you. Which is nice. You know. I get to play video games, write in my journal. I'm currently watching Hello. through Psych again, Isn't which is fun. Nice Parts of that show have not aged well. Which, speaking of weird things, you know what I recently watched? And it's I'm even a little embarrassed to admit I watched this. I watched a literal... Or watched, didn't finish it. I just wanted something simple that I could, like, throw on and not pay attention to. Because I've seen it all before, and it's, like, sitcom. So you can essentially not worry about, like, straight continuity. Um, which, to be fair, Psych is a good show for that. But, oh, god damn, let me shoot him. The lowest speed chase ever. No, god damn it, Cole. Am I hitting the wrong button? Okay. I... I literally watched though the other day. Because I love like video essays about TV shows that are like real hardcore deep dives. There was one suggested to me about the show iCarly. And I watched a four fucking hour long video about iCarly. And it only covered half the show. I did not watch the second half. Because, Jesus fucking Christ. But like... Cole. I love that for you, Ralph. Like, well, I remember watching it, um... Which I guess it was a false memory. Because when they explained when the show aired... So I don't know when I would have watched it. Because I swore it was a show I used to watch when I was waiting for my girlfriend to, uh, to, like, get ready for school. I would go to her house to pick her up, and I swore that was one of the shows that were on in the morning. But, like, the timeline doesn't line up. Unless, like, the timeline for it being on, like, literally just barely lines up. Because I graduated in 07. And the show started in 07. Because I remember, like, there were a few of those Nickelodeon shows that, like, I was a little too old for. Looks like but all of them were, like, fairly good. Like, surprisingly so. And I remember that being one of them. Like, that Fairly Odd Parents. Um, uh, Danny Phantom, I remember being all right. Like, there were quite a few of them. Good time to get some answers. Missing something, Henry? But I watched this long ass deep dive into it. And I'm like, like, I got to a point where I'm like, two hours in, and the the show had an, or the uh, video had like another hour to run or two. And I'm like, 
the fuck am I doing with my show? Like, granted, I was watching it, but I wasn't, like, intently watching it. It was just kind of on in the background while I fiddled around and, like, did other stuff. Nothing significant. Fan yourself, Cole. Fan yourself. There's a very pretty fan, though. But it was just weird that, like, somebody made a video that long and that in-depth about the fucking show iCarly. And had interesting takes on it. Like, they were talking about how, like, no it kind of predicted a bunch of internet culture shit. Because at the time it came out, that wasn't a thing yet. You know? Is this a fucking finger? Not sure this means much. <laughs> Thank you. Griff1247 is now following. Thank you for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy your stay here. Okay, that's the front door. I don't want to leave. But yeah, it was just kind of surreal. It's the iCarly talk for sure. Oh, 100%. That's, that's what people come here for. The the rousing talk about like weird or uh, weird uh, Nickelodeon shows that at the time I was too old for. You know? But yeah, it was, it was interesting to see it, like, in the perspective of well after the fact. Although, to be fair, I don't... They, they kept saying, like, oh, it's on Netflix, too, and people, you know, you can watch it now. And I was like, I don't think I'll be doing that. I'm starting to doze off, so I might be falling asleep soon. Well, if you do, I hope you have a lovely night of sleep, and I hope you have a lovely day tomorrow and a good weekend. Thank you for the follow once again, and thank you for hanging out. Like I said, feel f like don't try to stay awake on my account though. We know clearly, all about the jewelry ring, you and Randall and the Blanc. I'd rather all of you get great sleep fashion business. than keep yourself awake to be here. Like, I did not hear what he said. We all we all. I'm sorry. The fuck. We know all about the jewelry ring, you and Randall, and LeBlanc, and LeBlanc, and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. Stream again in a couple. Um, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday is the next stream. Uh, the way my streams are set up, we have Tuesday and Thursday I play through a game. Like L.A. Noir has been the current one, where it's, you know... Every Tuesday and Thursday, we do a next episode of it until we finish it. Sunday is my breather day where we do a random game. I call it Casual Sunday, and it's usually something different. It might be a VR game or something I'm only going to look at once. Sometimes I'll finish it if it turns out to be real good. But just a you know, little bit earlier, fun little aside stream where I tend to check out something. Uh, it's wild to me that... This dude's answer meant nothing to me. Um, well, I just kind of check out something else. You know? Wait, do I have to account for both of their... Wait, yeah, he he had the Faberge egg, Kate. Faberge egg. What exactly is Fabergé? Anybody got any idea? You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, Detective? Is it like ceramic or some sort of metal? You had the Fabergé case and the ring and all that. Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for six hundred dollars. Um. A case that is. Yeah, Sunday's usually like a fun little aside day. It was Julius that we do. Idea. Get a list of society parties. Find out where and when, and then have the guests burgled. She looked so mad. She was desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. My headphones are all twisted. Motive for Randall's murder. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop. To get out of that life. Mm -hmm. If she were to marry Heather, she'd have me. Julia I tried to be neat and tidy the other day and like roll up my headphone cable instead of just dumping it on the desk next to me and today when I unwound it it's just completely 
Okay, he's either lying or doubting. What did he actually say? Uh, stop them. Okay. Um, he wanted out. You're lying, Arnett. I think you he was trying to run away. It was made to look from the like murder. suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, um, he knew it was time to run. But yeah, I, told you I was trying to be a, like a, a neat person and like take my headphones off death. and like wind the cable up and put them over it? there. And then today I went to go put my headphones on. They're just all tangled and fucking all over the place. You tried to get away, dude. To Mexico. I or Mexico City, I guess. That you're leaving for Mexico City tomorrow night? That it's More specifically. Tell me it isn't true. I had no choice. I wanted to marry Heather. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. I had to pay Willie and Jimmy a fortune to do her, and now I'm completely broke. No, but Lord. Your Buster is under arrest. So he contracted the murder and just admitted to contracting the murder. Who is Henderson? And what is which I'm pretty about? sure will get you the death penalty in most places, know? by the way. Like, I'm pretty sure contract murder is the death penalty. There is no Henderson. I mean... Tell me about your first burglary, and don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. So, funny story. I do keep a list of these things. Your first burglary was a Dr. Harold Stoneman. Do you want to explain how he is involved or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about Julia. She could get him to do whatever she wished. Henderson is Stoneman. The parties and we arranged the burglaries. I feel like I bungled this case Julia and did something out of order. She just kept him hanging on the promise. Drove the good doctor almost insane. I wonder what clue I missed, though. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary. And for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. He literally just admitted to paying people to murder her. Why does he think that, like, the doctor being Henderson matters as much? Or, like, that would prevent him from going to jail? Come on, dude. Excuse me, I'm just gonna squeeze in right here, give you a little nudge. Bro, you are nowhere near the stop light. Come on. I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor? I mean, that do sounds like a relationship we're about ender. To find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, boy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? Should have never told you. Any central unit citizen reports that we're behind in there. Hey, street crime. Since I ignored that last one, it seems like we haven't been getting any. Like, I want to know how many street crimes we have left. Which, by the way, it, would it be entertaining or interesting or what have you if before we're done with this, I do a stream where I just run around and grab collectibles? Like, I would be, hey, the blue room. Like, I don't know if that would be interesting to watch, and I don't really think there's much to gain from it. But there's a particular outfit that I think one of them unlocks that I really want to get. Or is that a thing I should do off camera? Because, like, I feel like at a certain point, me, watching me look at a map, drive to a place, pick up a thing, look at a map, drive to a place, pick up a thing, isn't good.
bike. I feel like that one might get tedious every so often. God damn it. Cut the cor cut the turn a little short. Hey. Oh shit. I feel like this car is slow. Maybe because I keep running into shit. Every time I start building up speed, I hit something and it slows me down again. Nature's breaking, really. Are all of the fucking street crimes for this desk, like, all the way out in the middle of nowhere? I feel like every time we've done one recently, it's been a long-ass drive to get to them. Like, I feel like by now, other cops would have responded. You know? We're running out of roads at this point. Like, I'm looking at the mini-map, and, like, it's getting darker and, like, more sparse as we go. Also, I apologize that, like, this whole time I, I've turned the music down because the music in L.A. Noir like, tends to, like, really hit the YouTube copyright hard like anything by uh billy holiday just like instantly like restricted in everywhere you know and i don't want to fucking deal with it so i've turned the music down it's not nearly as awkward though as batman when we did uh arkham asylum and i turned the music off and there was just like cutscenes with no music because every one of those videos kept getting uh Kept getting dinged. Man, look at all that meat. I love Arkham Asylum with no music. It was weird. It was cool, but it was weird. Because there are cutscenes where it's like just a character staring at somebody else for a second, where there's like a music swell happening and you can tell there's supposed to be something. But it was just absent. Jesus. I'm probably get out of the car and tell Roy to drive to this shit. Which I know... I know that LA is like a very sprawling city. But like... Christ. It's like the third, like, more city-like area we've hit. We're just putting along now, I guess. Okay, either get it out of the way or don't. Like, I f thank God time doesn't pass in a, like, reasonable, like, realistic way in this game. If this was Red Dead, it'd be three days later by now. I have also started considering what we're playing next. And I have a couple things I'm kind of, like, thinking about. I have to uh, do a little bit of research tonight when I'm done on, like, how long to beat. Because I don't necessarily want to play something long like this is. Because, like, while we're going through it pretty, like, at a pretty good clip, 
this isn't a short game. You know? L.A. Noir again. But in black and white this time. That way the murders are less horrific. Or a different kind of horrific. One of them. One of those two. I have been, I've been uh, thinking about that the last day or two at work when I have uh, downtime. That dude took it and pinned to that wall like a champ. 11K, go ahead. Oh, thank God. I didn't have to navigate out of that parking lot and go somewhere else. Something shoot riot. I didn't see the first bit. I'm going to assume it's shoot, shoot riot. Hey, move along. This is private property. Sir, we're with the LAPD. We had a report of a burglary in progress at this address. Oh, no, no, no burglary. Look at the size of the fucking shoulder pads on those dudes. Maintenance crew. Maintaining what, exactly? No voy a terminar en la cárcel por este idiota. Show me your hands. Don't you guys know, like, like, whole folks don't fuck around when it comes to, uh, shooting folks. Weapons on the ground. What are we waiting for? Man, there's a lot of these dudes. Stay in cover. I wide open here. I oh, just shot him in the neck. They got things to do. I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. I just killed like four people in quick succession. Cole Phelps is excited about the murders in the weird way. 11K. I've been involved in a shooting and the suspect is down. It's now code 4, but I'll need an ambulance to 539 South Los Angeles Street, Ballard Tobacco Company. Also notify Detective Headquarters that I'll need the coroner. 11K, I'll notify the ambulance, Detective Headquarters. No, not in the weird way. You're behind the ah. We only have 12 more street crimes to do. We ain't got that many missions left, I don't think. We got one more for Vice. And I think... No, God damn it, Cole. Get out of the car, Cole. Get out of my way. Fucking Roy Earl. Even though canonically, Cole has kids. I believe, like, Cole Phelps seems like the kind of guy who, like, you know, just completely just, like, not into it. Hang like, on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett, and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Can he not Dr. hear through the I'm door? Afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you. We have kids? Yeah, urgent. Cole canonically has a wife and kids. Like two kids, I think. You actually never really see his wife or kids in this game. 
at the very beginning during like the montage where there's like the voiceover and they're showing random people you see Cole leave his house and like kiss his wife goodbye and wave and then get in the car as like a patrolman and they're referenced a couple times but we're never actually like we never actually see them really there's a couple other times which were spoilers if I brought up why we see them but yeah we never really see them but Cole has like a wife and two kids Which is one of the flaws of this game. Like, I feel like we should get a little bit of an inside peek as to who Cole Phelps is, not just what he does at work. You know? You're Cole, Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Oh, God, that's an ugly cry face. Please don't cry. Not my wife or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. Yeet. Didn't see that coming. So, uh, he took the express down. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. <laughs> I need an ambulance on the corner. Immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman. I'm very coffee Irish lately, Street, too. En route, Detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Hmm. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner. Goddamn, this case just keeps on fucking Detective going. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. We have an address for the runner. You're, you're good, right, ma'am? Okay. You're good. You you got this. Now me just leaving the crying woman outside the window uh, that guy just jumped out of. That old boy really fell for that broad. <laughs> has a way of making you pay for your pride. Quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. You're talking from experience. Where the fuck did we park? There we go. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. Ah, come on, let me... Let me get away without Roy. Fuck you, Roy! It won't shut the door. Damn it. I think Roy's still coming. Yep, look at him running after me. Fuck you, Roy. You can walk to it. It's literally right here. It's like right around the corner. I could have walked to it. Like, who the lady from Shanghai is playing? Apparently, this guy just lived right around the corner from the from this dude from, from the doctor. It really doesn't help if I say this dude lived right around the corner from the other dude. That doesn't really help anybody. He's around here somewhere. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take the side of the We're gonna check every hen house, outhouse, farmhouse. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Think he knits as well? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. I hear a harmonica. I 
And that's a cream colored jacket. If I've ever seen Wilson one. Reed, LAPD. What the fuck, home. Earl? And he is wearing basketball shoes. I'll give it that. Hmm. As described. You ever think about the way that somebody would describe you in this instance? Like, I often wonder what verbis people would use to describe me if they had to, like, to somebody who'd never seen me. You know? Like, and I wonder how upset I would be to hear it. He's still up. This dude effectively has got, like, if I had to tail him, this dude would have gotten away. Also, fuck this game because this pipe isn't gold. So I didn't, wasn't 100% sure I could climb it. somewhere no place to go unless you grew wings by the way i think this is another dlc mission i don't think this is actually one that like is in the game proper oh wait no i want to shoot him through the d i shot him through the d really picked this spot for it up here didn't he Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. Delivery and loading oh, area. Fuck. We're on the Looks fucking like roof. Porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy, I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you. Lieutenant. Eight million stories. Complete the naked city. Oh, I missed two clues and one question. And got so much property damage. A morphine at a crime scene will put a smile on Carruthers' face. It must have been morphine I missed somewhere. I wonder where. I'll have to look up a video and see where I missed it. I'm genuinely interested. And we'll reward it with an army flashback. And the most aggress aggressive whistling. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, military stuff looks like garbage in this game. Between this color filter they use, where it's like kind of everything's washed out in like gray green. And like just the uniforms and like assets in it don't look great. The whole company is gone, hey. The major is dead. We're being overrun. We have to get off of this hill. That's one of our 50 cows still firing, Cole. The 22nd are still fighting. God damn. You got shot directly with artillery. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. He was your friend too, Cole. Hmm. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Not a scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole. Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. Cole just you're laid in a hole. Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. But God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. Hmm. You're a goddamn hero, son. 
What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. Wait a minute. I think that cigarette was wrong. It looked like it had a filter on it. And filtered cigarettes were not a thing yet, if I'm not mistaken. It would be another 10 years before filtered cigarettes were a thing. 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Time to call the police on that cigarette. It's time tra it's a time traveling cigarette. An anachronistic anachronistic cigarette. We didn't get all of it. Wee wee. I don't have a siren, so. Realistically, it sounds awful to have a fucking siren on the uh on the soundboard. I'll be real with you. Nope, that's, there we go. Exit. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. Phelps is without vice. Aside from a job, he works in vice. I get it, but, you know. It's neither here nor there. Get in the fucking car, Cole. We can leave him. He's so far behind us. Hey, I shut the door. There we go. Once again, I've made a grave mistake. I did not grab food to eat after stream before I started. Nor did I eat before stream. And this one's going to go long because I want to get both these missions done because we spent a long time on that last one. Um. Nope, I wanted to turn the other way. No harm done. Um, I was just thinking about food, Ralph. Damn it, Jack Boo. Why did you have to think about food to make me think about food? The 111 Club. Aren't they that religious one that comes on after, uh, after ABC goes off the air? That's a joke nobody gets. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left you got any the morphine? Owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. Stepan, I know do you have any morphine? She was a non-common by old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. His waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the Somebody others? from our old unit Two died. Musicians, Biddleston and Bow. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? The first people we uh, investigated in the vice. No piece. <laughs> Fuck you, Roy. we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Oh, well, let's start with the corpse, I guess. It's all coming around, all full circle. Certainly sends a message. I think they shot him a couple times. He, uh, he's real shot up. Pack of cigarettes. Hmm. And a cigarette. That's a, can I zoom in on this? Okay, that does not have a filter, it looks like. There's an accurate cigarette. So yeah, um, when you're ready to have at this time of... At this point in history, uh, filtered cigarettes had not become popular, I'm fairly certain. I think that happened in the mid-50s. Um, when they started rebranding cigarettes to be more feminine and started touting more of the health benefits of cigarettes. Um, before then, you would only have um, unfiltered cigarettes. And that classic thing of like back in like the 30s and 40s where you'd see a woman smoking a cigarette with that long like mouthpiece on it, that was actually pretty much what like filters were at the time. Brothers. Well maintained. 
custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Well, you gotta care for your instrument. If not, you'll have to go get a shot of penicillin in your ass. What's that click? Who has three mouthpieces? The case must have cost more than the trouble. Cigarettes for women. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it sounds dumb, but yes. Of course, they were, like, it was to market them as such. Not necessarily that they weren't for women to begin with, but it's all marketing. Um, like, Lucky Strike cigarettes that were, like, pretty popular at the time. They're actually the cigarettes issued to soldiers during World War II. Because... The army would issue cigarettes to soldiers. Um, they used to come in an olive drab pack with a big red circle on the front. Well, when they rebrand it and tried to be more for the consumer market, they rebranded them. I just fucked that all up. They rebranded them to look more like this. Where it's a white pack with a uh, with a red circle. And that red circle would have a green circle outside of it. And the green was just kind of a reference to the original color of the packs. They would also come in soft packs. These are filtered ones. Because they're cheaper. I don't have $9 a pack for uh, for unfiltered. I would rather quit smoking at that point. Which I probably should. In all reality, I probably should quit smoking. A new source. Or is this coming from what's left in circulation? That was also a literally a uh, very opportune time for me to cough. He had a morphine charrette in his pocket. But, unfiltered cigarettes for some reason are more expensive now. When back in the day they used to be pretty much the only game in town. And there's no real, there's no real big difference between them, it's just preference. Um, but also, smoking is a horrible, disgusting habit that you shouldn't do. <laughs> like, from a pack-a-day smoker. So many cigarettes. A dozen packs to a carton, a hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. It's been a long time since I've bought a carton of cigarettes. I thought they came in cartons of ten, not twelve. Brand new, never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check hmm. on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? To be fair, army surplus morphine, army surplus. Fairly morphine, certain for a while there, you could buy BARs. We should get back like, to the station and check uh, BAR stands for Browning Automatic Rifle. From that ship. And it was literally like, exactly that. It was a big, fully automatic rifle that would, which by the way, we reached max, max rank of 20. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps. Um, it was a big automatic rifle, rifle that would shoot a Welcome big old 30 caliber back, round. Detective. Like at a high rate of fire. If I'm not mistaken, one of them were used to assassinate uh, Bonnie no and Clyde. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, that went well. I'd be full of holes just like the others. I don't know why this this little bit of uh, the case is. Oh, I don't trust you. 
this little bit of the cases Ralph goes through and talks about the weird minutia of history of certain things. But here we are. Eddie turns up, buys the club. Then we and let's be real, from tough guys. we all kind of love it. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases... We do. <laughs> I kind of like her dress. The cut of it looks weird, but I kind of like it. Like the top, the uh, like awkward, upward neckline looks like it would be uncomfortable, but cute dress. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help. That's a good way to say drug dealer. Head, but he was a decent boss. I think I've gotten everything here. Let's, uh... Have I gotten everything here? Because I don't remember seeing this dead guy. I don't remember this particular dead guy. But what if she's the killer? I mean, I don't think this is one of those things where the killer's a mystery. Oh, this is our dude. This is the dude who was uh, in the army with us. No, I don't want to keep touching his very dead face. I, I'm willing to bet there's probably no fucking clues to be had here. Because it won't let me use intuition, and I completely just didn't find this body. Okay. Like... Still won't let me use intuition, right? No, okay. And the music is pretty much gone. They didn't even try to crack the safe. Oh, that's interesting. That box of ammo up there says Bennington, but it's written in the style of Remington ammo, which in the real world, Remington is a manufacturer of, uh, Everything from guns, ammo, and typewriters at this point in time. They pretty much made a ton of electronics that people would have in their home. Shavers, all kinds of shit. But they, like, didn't... I guess didn't feel like coming up with, like, another brand completely. So they definitely just changed the R to a B. Which is hilarious to me. Actually, I... They're very expensive, but I was looking, when I was looking at typewriters, I was looking at Remingtons as well. Like the big old manual Remington typewriters. As the cannibals finished off the game of that takes plenty to Let's head to the blue room. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. Oh, drive the road. We'll survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more. Maybe we can get here without crashing. That skill, baby. Excuse me. I've got to sort through some unclaimed items right now. I, I made it there without crashing. There is actually an achievement for like a massive amount. I can't remember the exact number, but like for a massive amount of uh, property damage and no property damage. Good point. I don't remember like what the criteria for either of them is. Tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo, or their knucklehead buddies Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone fuller? The fuck? Where's Sylvan when I need him, or Grolly? How about you get a drink while I see to this? Actually, we're daddy. Like, I, quite a few people uh, come up, uh, speak German. Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? 
You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. All right. Tell me about the People armor surplus are dying morphine. of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. <laughs> I took a semester in college. Well, unless you know what that word that passed that I don't remember how to... She's just outright not looking at me. She's just completely avoiding. She's like... You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black Holy man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, mm -hmm. black man buys. Like, he could be really good at what he does. Like, I don't want to discount, like, My his ability. He could be a really good drug dealer, Correct. for all I know. He could be very skilled or smart. It's possible. Like, you know. Oh, I'm going to doubt her again because she's making, like, who farted face. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I feel like how I'm clearly interviewing her and the entire band is just a peanut gallery in the back. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Ain't we all a sad, lonely cat? Take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to be talking about this? Maybe someone in the band did fart. Drugs are against the law. I, I used to know a girl. And this is going to be kind of an unkind story. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the I was never really the biggest fan of her. But we ran in similar social circles, so often I would have to interact with her. And one day, I realized that her smiling was clearly a who farted face. Like, she would smile like this. Like, it always looked like she was just about to ask who farted. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find and like him I said, I wasn't the, the biggest fan of her. There's something I need to be sure of. I was never, like, me overly mean. But I was, you know, mean occasionally. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Partner. You know. Why are we back here at 1045 in a different car? Jesus Christ. I... Let me in. My watch is violently vibrated, so I assume it's dying and I have to charge it before bed. I don't remember what car she got into. I'll be real with you. Okay. Thank God for the mini map. Okay. Think she's in the cab? Yeah, I'm gonna assume she's in the cab. Definitely in the cab. Once again, the back half of this game. Watch this dying message from all storm. Like, I'm so used to it vibrating like a normal vibrate when it's time for bed. When it's like, hey, you know, start getting ready for bed there, buddy. Been at risk losing the trail. Cole. She stopped. This is more conspicuous, I'd say. Too much slack. It wanted me to pull up an inch. But yeah, like the the vibration it's at twenty eight percent. The vibration for it's dying and you should plug it in before you go to bed is like so aggressive. 
which kind of tells me they kind of expect you to ignore the hey, it's getting ready, like start getting ready for bed. It's time to wind down. They expect you to ignore that message because they made the you have to charge this one very different. Why are we telling Elsa again? Like I have to go fucking talk to Mickey Cohen. I thought. And now it's definitely too late to eat. There might still be some cake left. It's my niece's birthday. And there's cake in my home. And boy, howdy, do I enjoy cake. It's a red velvet cake. Hmm. Uh-oh. Married Mr. Cole Phelps just went into Elsa's house and Roy saw them. Yes, the cake always. Oh, of course. I'm gonna get me a big fat slice of cake after this. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Does the chicken come with fried tomatoes? Take me to... Wait. Okay, that's not a newspaper. I, Sir, we definitely missed a Mr. bunch Cohen's of the... Uh, tonight, is this what definitely missed a... I say we as though y'all are helping. But then again, I guess LAPD. my successes are also shared Here's with you. Hi, Mickey. How's it um, Fine. Just fine, Roy. I like, I feel like we've missed a bunch of newspapers. He's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. I'm sorry, I missed them all. God damn it, Jagboo. Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said... That's not a real name. How much fun Stompano? Come on. Poor Johnny. Stompanato? Stompanano? He's a serviceman too, Cole. Words have lost Johnny all meaning to me. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need stand around water? beating your lunch while my meat gets... Wait, no. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, I don't like selling that. stolen morphine. No. Nope. He had one third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Oh, I don't trust you. You. I don't think I. I don't have anything. I like have no. I have no actual. Yeah, I don't have any actual evidence to... So we're doubting. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I have a beef about that. I also realized something. I had to do a different knot the for this tie. My I normal, like, uh, I think it's called, like, three in hand or whatever. The, the normal knot so that, like, the easy, simple, from. normal knot that people do with ties. Didn't, yeah. like, didn't Ask sit well with this tie because it's real wide. So I had to do like a double Windsor, or I guess I could have done a single a Windsor. Between a group of Marines and the morphine which I, from the SS having had never worn this one, one before, it's like, that's weird that it won't do the normal last night. thing. I, I do like the wider out. knot. Usually if I wear a tie, that is how I tie it. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at he the does look shifty. Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. Welcome to the family, son. Oh, it's at 17 months. Just resubscribed for 17 months. Also, a yay, 17 Negro months. On the sidewalk will never make the 17 months, you say. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Probably Thank you for the resub. As always, I greatly appreciate Jagboo. The, the support is very touching and I, like, it means a lot. Not me saying it twice. Hey, you boys want some lunch? 
about a well, drink? We'll take a rain you, check on that. You said it once. The Come robotic on, lady said it rain. once. I said it twice. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. I just noticed something, because we already saw... We already saw the newspaper a while ago. And now it was three times it'll come out of the mirror. Yeah, it's like Handyman or Beetlejuice or Bloody Mary. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around on I was trying to think of a good fake one and nothing came to mind. mind. I'm sorry. Every I really dropped the ball on that one and I apologize. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects. Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little lake, they're all evil. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. I mean, Aren't yeah. Are supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. Um... I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. I'm sure there's a friendly creature you can summon through chanting. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure that's a thing somewhere. Though, to be fair, creatures are rarely friendly. Like in folklore? Eric. I'm just kind of thinking about it right now. It's like... Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's so I have a theory. See Inside job. You see this Inside dude? How he's board, like fully charactered and it seems like Cole and him know each other. Case of VARs, case of Thompson's. Before Cole got the homicide, he said he did a stint in burglary. In between traffic and homicide. I better get over. The death. I think one of the deaths that were cut was supposed to be this one where you did burglary, which would have explained the ship theft beforehand. And I think he would have been your partner. Right. I don't know what I'm looking for. I, I admittedly was theorizing. This is cover three burners and a mountain of cigarettes and shooting them. Could have our smokes. A copy of the man. After the dock robbers. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. Jack Kelso. How dare they take this man from us? We don't even know this man. Enough to arm three companies. I say we bust in. Oh my god. Four hundred uh Thompson submachine guns. Three hundred uh BARs. Eighty hundred cigarettes. And fifty five hundred thousand loose on the streets of LA. We can mourn his well, loss from us though. I guess. So that's the finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the one eleven club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting more. I don't want to pick a fight with these damn people. Drag well on the bright side, it depends how many people steal the guns. Because at most, you can only shoot two guns at once. And even that's kind of difficult. Shots fired at, 1384 North at a certain point, you're just a loot box for somebody else. Oh, shit. The plot's thickening. Have you... Has anybody else had, like, videos come up lately of different creators, like, fucking around the shit called Thicket? It's like a thickening agent that they use for, like, people who have problems swallowing and, like, uh... And drinking liquids. I've seen like three different videos now. Where that's a thing. No time, Cole. We have to leave Roy. Fuck you, Roy. And fuck these signs. Rough on that thicket TikTok. Thicket talk, if you will.
No, these were uh, YouTube videos, so. My YouTube recommendations have been kind of wild lately. Like, A, there's that fucking Odyssey of an iCarly video. Good. Fuck Roy Earl. Um, no, these were on YouTube, though, and it all, YouTube's also been recommending me a bunch of different videos on, like, how to, f how to make pallet furniture, you know, and make money doing it, and is it worth it to make pallet furniture and try to make money, a living off of it? It's like, I do not have a wood shop. I'm not making pallet furniture. Eh, I miss, I miss Stefan. Stefan, so far, is the only good partner we've had recommend pallet videos. Well, not like pallet like that. Like, pallet is in, like, what you ship things on. Like, a wood pallet. It's like, you can find these on the side of the road. Although, to be fair, I am kind of thinking about looking up uh, more info on leather working. Cole, get off the cover. Please, please Cole. Thank you. I'm gonna run to the back of this fucking cop car. And grab a fucking gun. Okay, I've 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 been shot many times. Yes, I will take the invisible Thomas. Serpentine. Serpentine call. Ooh, this is kind of a badass looking van. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. I don't know exactly where I'm going. I'm assuming I can climb up. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. It was a cool, it was a cool wagon. It wasn't a van, it was a wagon, I misspoke. But it was a cool one. That's a uh, style of car that I kind of miss from this era. We don't really get wagons anymore. So you know what stupid fucking thing I love? I just shot him in the kidneys a bunch. I miss uh, wagons though. Wagons used to be cool as shit. Building a better California. Don't worry, Roy. I murdered the shit out of this guy. Okay. Can I take this? Like, no? Okay. So I was saying a moment ago... I think the newspapers are not in order of when, like, when they take place relative to the main storyline. Uh, and restaurant table. Hmm. You'll get how to make a wagon out of pallets on YouTube soon. Oh, 100%. And somehow it'll tie back to fucking iCarly and Thicket. So... What's funny is, it recommended me another channel on that guy's, uh, or another video on that guy's channel, where he does it for, um, Victorious, which apparently was his sister show of iCarly. He brought that up a bunch of times. And now I'm kind of thinking, like, I've never watched a single episode of that. Do I watch this thing about a show one of the BARs. for children that I've never seen? From what I hear, it wasn't as good. Although, apparently, the later seasons of it, of uh, iCarly, were not good either. Felix Alvaro. Yes, obviously, yes, of course. The ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. But yeah, I also don't like, as a 35-year-old man, Alvaro. the amount of thought I've put into iCarly over the last, like, three days. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? This is my partner, Roy Earl. Which is an irony because he just called him a jughead. Someone took a shot at my bus. 
and the cops turn up and start treating me mm. like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Fuck you, Roy. I'm with Felix on this. Did you hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So oh, so look at that bus uniform. It's so cool. Uh, the cops came in. Got a tie and everything. Guys on the ship. How old is Spencer now? I'm looking at up. He's got to be in his, like, mid to late 20s. Also, why do... Why do none of those shows let those kids have, like, both parents? I was down at the 111 Club this morning. Because the, the, the guy I was watching, I'll take his word for it, because I'm not going to do any research myself. You want to tell me anything about that? Says that, that they never the actually mention, like, their mom. And their dad is just vaguely so mentioned as being know, stationed in the army. And that's why she lives with Spencer. Who's shooting at you? Dude? Which is weird. How the fuck do I Because know? I feel like every every like kid show I can think of from about that era had like a dead parent. Or like a parent that didn't exist. It's twenty six in the first season. I'm older than Spencer now. <laughs> yeah, that's a dangerous game to play. Like you're lying. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you? Like it's like why Man, why can't these why can't these kids in these shows have parents? <laughs> Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Also, I like I think Spencer's like supposed to be her half brother, not her full brother, because every scene that they showed when they would reference Carly's dad. No, they're not. No, they're not. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Like, that's the thing. They're both missing one parent. That's two parents. Because every time they reference Carly's dad, Spencer refers to him as Carly's dad. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Like, not for a minute. Which makes me think that, like, it's not, like, they're not, like, full siblings. They're, like, step siblings. Which makes not bringing up the mom in any measure weirder. Felt also, Spencer's kind of like a great example of like how to be an adult. Because he's clearly like... He's clearly doing what needs to be done because that apartment is fucking massive. And clearly he's doing something to pay the bills that aren't selling somewhere. But also like fun and whimsical. You know? Thanks for your help. I appreciate that. Nice day for it. Nice day for what? A sniper? All these people in Folger's office and everything. You tell me what's going on. Must go visit Jack Kelso. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. I need to Don't cough work. again, and I'm not okay with it. Tough customer. We yeah, apparently, um, pretty much all of iCarly's on Netflix. <laughs> so me talking about it has made it to the point where, like, you know, you kind like apparently it's all on Netflix. Or actually, that video is like two years old, so it might not still be on Netflix. Because I want to say most of the Nickelodeon stuff isn't on Netflix anymore. So I'm not sure. But. Someone. It's streaming somewhere if you're interested. I don't know. Hey, look, a street crime that isn't on the other side of the fucking planet. Automotive Club of Southern California. Erected in 1921. What's going on here? This joker was trying to tail one of our patrons. And stuff. I'm a reporter, you idiot. I'm doing a feature for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? Parking lot. His is the blue Talbot. 
Rewatch that, Ralph. I mean, it might be on something. It's probably streaming somewhere. They had a revival, too, which the video did acknowledge, like, the revival had just been announced when they started working on it. Like 2020, I think. bastard. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Where is this guy? Apparently, we're hunting a communist, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But... I don't think I have watched the revival. I feel like I heard the revival was decent, like the first couple episodes at the very least. But I didn't like. He's not getting away that easily. Like I didn't. Oh, there's a cool car. I feel like fucking Batman. Oh, we're gonna wreck both of these cars though. Both of these cars are fucking done for. God damn it. Oh, I love the orange trim on this. I, I love it so much I had to crash twice to get a good look at it. Um, I don't mind shows getting revived as long as it's like they get most of the cast back. Which, to be fair, I feel like iCarly, like one of the things you're definitely not going to get back is like Jeanette McCurdy. Because she like... Like she had a bunch of trouble and like... Like, I heard her book was real good because it was, like, really detailing, like, how fucked up a lot of things were. It's no good. We need to get closer. How much closer do you want me to get, Roy? They're bullets. I don't... The proximity doesn't matter as much. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. I feel like the thing's not getting... Don't you fail me. I can still see the fucker. Okay, I can no longer see the fucker. Oh. Oh. Huh. So we had a little crashy poo. One moment, please. fucker crashed our game. Man, I crashed the game like I crashed these fucking cars. <laughs> You're getting too close. Too close to the truth. I'll just have to pee, so I'm probably gonna take a quick BRB. I want to get this mission done. <laughs> oh, God damn it. L.A. Noir. I don't know what happened. At some point recently, maybe the Rockstar launcher updated or some other bullshit. It just does not work as well as it did when I started playing it. All right. While it loads up, I will be right back. In the meantime, grab yourself something to drink, grab yourself something to eat, something to snack on, or just sit here and enjoy the clips. Either way, I will be right back. Like all of the music of it, like is this Ella Fitzgerald. Is this Ella Fitzgerald, motherfucker? This is Ella Fitzgerald. We're taking all of your fucking views. You will not be served in this goddamn algorithm again. I swear to God, we'll take you out back and break your goddamn knees if this is an Ella Fitzgerald song. Excuse me, sir. Are you using these needle nose? Do you have a permit for these? Hmm. And what's this? Some sort of drug pipe? Oh, spark plug, you say. No. Go Phelps not a mechanic. There we go. So apparently Rebecca can do this by herself if you just kite the tyrant enough. <laughs> oh, shit. So, oh, it doesn't come up on that because I'm capturing a window. Um, I just got the achievement, get used to it. Which is die for the first time in Resident Evil. So, we're doing pretty well. But we're gonna, uh... Oh no! Thank you. 
<laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How was your stream, Cricket? <laughs> Thank you for the raid. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. So you know what else frustrates me about L.A. Noir? And once again, I'm not going to blame the game itself. I'm going to blame fucking Rockstar. Every time I open the game, this is how it looks. This is how it opens. It straight up opens in a little tiny, like, a little tiny window, like, I think this is 720p. Um, yeah, 1280 by 720. And then I have to manually go and switch it to 1440. And when it crashes, I have to literally reset all of my settings. Like... Every time it crashes, I have to do that. Like, it's so annoying. Like, I don't know what it is with the Rockstar launcher. Oh, shit, bitch. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. I'm gonna have to go to a fucking game well again. It didn't save anything. I can't skip anything. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks, ma'am. Pain and sadness. Don't mind me, I'm refilling my mug. Fuck you, Roy. Actually, I really ought to stop leaving Roy because I think we're missing out on uh, dialogue whenever I do. But I don't like Roy. He's kind of an absolute piece of shit. Oh, she's just not going to give me this fucking street crime now? I want to drive that cool car again. God damn it. This is how you want, Ralph. I I know. But like, to be fair, at a certain point when we miss dialogue, then I have to explain what's going on. What the fuck? Hello, Jack. Cool your tits, Siri. Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. You would like a word like to come inside actually we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us do you mind do i have any choice no you don't are you going to tell I mean, me the show be yeah it would be better for all of us but like there gets to be a point where like i have to explain story and stuff beautiful. and like certain games i feel fine enough explaining story stuff la noir especially towards the end gets a little convoluted for some reason, twice now, my watch has just decided to start, like, firing up Iris and picking up random things I'm saying and, like, going. I refuse to use the name that shall not be used, but Iris is a good substitute. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. 
No, I don't trust you, Jack. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad yeah, I don't like that. It's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. I, but I also don't know how I keep activating it. Like, my wrist isn't close enough to anything. The guy tie is fun. Yeah. I actually love Jack Elsho's, like, wardrobe in this. Did you know that it Eddie looks McCall real good. Recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Like, I even like, like the pattern of his jacket and all. Like, I think it's a really cool-looking outfit. <laughs> Which should also tell you how bad my taste is. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. I believe him. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 VAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Like, there's a lot of things from this era or do more that I greatly dislike. A lot of, like, particularly and social things. Cool. For obvious reasons, because I'm not no a glory. fucking monster. Another promotion, another medal um, and if you feel like you there's a lot of things that you wish were like this, out. kindly go fuck yourself. Like, if you if the social views of a lot of this time period is something that sounds appealing to you, or you wish we could get back to, kindly what go fuck yourself. Um, you been dead if it for me. I don't know but, about the robbery. like, clothing, art, and design of this era... Is some of my favorite. Like, it all looks so cool. And I'm going to doubt you, Kelso, because you're real, f like, twitchy. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, you just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. I mean, don't get me wrong. I agree yeah, with you, impressive. Jack. But that's not the point like right you, now. Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Oh, shit. People in that manifest dropping like flies. Get out of the fucking way, Roy. Any more friends of yours are going to get plugged today. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate yeah, each other. Yeah, Kelso and uh, Cole do not like each other. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Damn, I always made it here without hitting anything. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers. Welcome. Oh, oh shit. I my stream with three viewers. Welcome in, Minnie. How was your stream? And welcome in, Raiders. I hope you're all having a lovely Thursday. We're uh, we're up to some L.A. Noir. Me fire up the old shout out, shout out device, which apparently is not updating regularly. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just this can't all be happening. This is some sort of. 
I read the title and then realized that I didn't have to guess. You've reached your limit on talking. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, Alex, will you just shut? Where's the goal? Where's the goal? Me money, SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good clip um i love that sound effect or i assume it was a sound effect i don't know if it was like a, a redeem or something i or rather i assume it's a redeem i don't know if it was like no talking for five minutes because that would be a crime many should always be talking um but yes zagbu brings up a good point how are how is how are the lies of p how is it peeing i don't Not sure the right way to put that. But welcome in. Thank you again for the raid. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. Let's get back to it, because apparently we're having a car chase. Again. So many fucking car chases. Oh my god. This dude corners like a fucking demon. Roy, shoot him. I can't take the shot from here, Paul. Lies been peeing everywhere through town. Ooh. The uh, Lies of P, the art style looks real car. good. Like something about like the way that game looks is really works for me. I'll it never play it though, because um, it, it is very much a Souls-like game from what I've heard. But like it does look real cool. Did a boss map. Here's a boss master story, boss from right, first try, so I'm pretty pumped again. Oh shit, you got a boss fight done first try? Oh shit. Hell yeah. Just once again, this is soul like souls like Where the fuck did they go? But hell yeah, first time for a boss fight. Let's go. And it's the electric chair. I'm just shooting goons. But hell yeah, like, I feel like a boss fight, if you, if you beat a boss the first time through a Soulsborne game, like, like, that's something to, like, tell. That is some shit where it's like, yeah, no, I did this. It's important. It's another B.A.R. Cold saving them money. No electric chair. Exactly. I'm passing the savings on to the taxpayer. By executing people in the street. The actor kind of looks familiar. Driscoll, Beckett, Higgins, Connolly. Huh. Traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Two of these guys have been taken out. Hmm. Oh, maybe these are the guys these people were supposed to hit. Like, these specific hitmen. Hitman? Hitmen? Hit fellas? Hit folks? I don't know what the proper plural of hitmen are. Is it just hitmen? I don't trust it for some reason. Hickey's meeting, 9 a.m. Oh, meeting with Sheldon tonight. Mid-25, 10, dark hair. See? That's why you carry a notebook. LAPD vice scandal could go all the way to the top. Interesting. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring hmm. down the whole administration. Those hermanos as hit. Can someone talk to Harry over at the Times? 
It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda hmm. to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Roy Earl. District Attorney. Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. Hmm. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful hmm. wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. He did what? So it sounds a lot like Roy Earl, this piece of shit right here, is going to sell us up the river to avoid a scandal for Vice. See why I keep leaving in places? Ah, fuck. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? Yeah. How does that get them the dough? They obviously don't know who has the morphine. Because They're waiting for someone to crack. Remember how like a moment ago when he saw us going into Elsa's apartment? And it's like, hmm. Yeah, Roy Earl was using that to uh, to like change the narrative on a on a uh, scandal in Vice. So he's gonna fucking, you know, throw a uh, throw coal under the fucking wheels. Your Fuck your Cadillac. Bye. <laughs> okay, I, I've changed. Oh, you fucking ruined it. You absolute piece of shit. You idiot. Ruined the tire rolling away down the road. Oh, they coordinate it. Jesus Christ. Getting close. Steer him off the tar. Why is the machine gun fire still happening? Well, have you considered not being a, a little bitch there, uh, Roy? Why is the machine gun noises just happening? Uh, thank God. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Like, he's clearly not still shooting the machine gun. I miss it already. I do not. It is fairly loud in here. I thought the game crashed again. I would have ended this fucking stream.
You don't know what kind of guy I am. Let's head to the post office, I guess. I'm just glad there isn't machine gun fire happening right now. So blissful. So quiet. Hey, Roy. How do you like this car? Are you crazy? A little bit, yeah. You're driving right at them. <laughs> street crimes. We only have like eleven more street crimes after this one to do. I want to get them all. Because, like I said, there is an unlockable outfit that I really want. But for so, like, because I think it's funny and I want to show it on stream. But I don't remember exactly what you have to do to unlock it. I know it's one of the collectibles. It might be street crimes. It might be badges. It might be, uh, might be film reels. I don't think it's hidden cars. Time to clean up this town. Yeah, I'm going to put an end to crime. Unless it's vehicular assault. That shit's fun. Alright. I forgot I had a siren. <gasps> it's the fancy car one. 11K responding. Go ahead with the further. Let's see if it crashes the game this time. Once again, I wish I could skip these. Detective Phelps, LAPD. What's going on here? This joker was trying to tail one of our patrons. I'm a reporter, you idiot. I'm doing a feature for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? Parking lot. This is the blue Talbot. Hold wide breath. I'm exclusive when you bring him back. Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. <laughs> that security guard's like, the fuck you will follow them. I love Roy. Or I. Not. I fuck Roy. I hate Roy. I love Cole's little dumb jump he does when he has to climb up shit. Like. Oh, won't well, let me do it now. Yay, the car's orange and black again and looking real cool. LAPD, sir. Can I have a word? Well, that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. That's not how that works. It's not it's not an admission of guilt to run from the cops. There's too much car for me. I always started blasting when I played this. Someone would have a hostage. I'd mow him down. I mean, to be fair, if you shoot through... If you shoot through the hostage, the hostage isn't a problem anymore. It, huh? closer. How much closer do you want, Roy? Because I got real close that time. Listen, hostage is just another pre-skeleton. I admittedly that one stand I kind of aimed for. But, you know. I'm not good at the driving. Oh, cool. The sign says Hollywood Land, not just Hollywood. I don't know what year they removed the word land from it. Had to make sure I got him. This is a cool looking car though. Give it up, LAPD. 
This is harassment. Understand? Probably, yeah. Politics or nobody's goddamn business but my own. I mean, that that's fair. Just two suspects down, exactly. Twenty nine of forty. Only ten more fucking street crimes. What the hell? Oh, I'm sorry, Roy. Are, are you worried about somebody destroying something that you hold dear? Like a family? I'm ashamed that... I'm not ashamed. I'm upset that this game won't let me crash my car into suspects. I get it, they're shooting. That dude looks tickled pink to be in a shootout. He's like... Me off the cover. cover. Take cover, you lunatic. I mean, covers for the week. Oh, you're not dead yet. Bad luck. <coughs> try. It was worth a try. I mean, God. Meanwhile, I'm just touching him. Polar bear ice cover. Hmm. Really did it. Most people never get the, the polar bear ice company was the ice company we found all the morphine in in the giant blocks of ice Out of my way. Can't go through that door. He's dead. You know, I feel like Cole would have a better time figuring out what's going on if he left any amount of survivors. Not saying a lot of them, just one or two, you know. Like, nothing extravagant. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We are using an intuition point for this. Although we're at max level, so we actually can't get any more. Um, we are out of being able to obtain... ...any... Yes, this one's actually dead this time. Good. I I like touching the I like touching the dead guy's faces. Yeah, of course we're at max level. Um, it's because we're at max level. Like it's not a bad thing. So, uh, like, you think so? Then the guy jump scares you. 
I'm surprised this game doesn't do that, to be honest. Like, I legitimately would think this would be the kind of game that would do that. Good guy. I can get wrapped up in this thing. Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Fuck you, Roy. Now we're gonna do something I've been wanting to do this whole time. Where are you running to, Roy? It's a stitch up. Fuck you, Roy. You run his ass over, yeah. Um, to be fair, it's risky because if your partner dies, you hit a you know game over screen, and you've got to like redo a part. But yeah, I like how they just kind of ragdoll down. I don't know where where they think they're running because I literally shot them in the head. Nobody survives Cole Phelps. Nobody. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB on the Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. <laughs> <laughs> so, this isn't looking while I'm not the most, like, rules-followingest person around, I am a stickler for, like, radio protocol. Like, I'm one of those people where, like, you don't curse on the radio. You, you don't, like, you don't, you know, you don't mumble, you speak clearly, you enunciate, you separate your words. You don't talk at before three seconds. Like, I am weirdly specific about that. Maybe it's because I've had 10 years of listening to people who are terrible with radio et radio etiquette. Why did radio feel weird coming out of my mouth? Radio etiquette, I have like just super poor radio etiquette, but like it's one of those things where like I'm real particular on it. Roy, oh great, this asshole. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's going to have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But Cap, no buts. This is more important. I think this is when that newspaper we saw is supposed to have happened. Isn't there anything else we can do? You're an interview too, Phelps. Oh great, he's got this dickhead with him. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Am I supposed to be fucking impressed? Do, sir. 
You stole the morphine from the Cool Ridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh. I don't trust that dude. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but it's difficult considering they're all dead. That does make it harder. Break out the Ouija board. I feel like I have something specifically. Yeah, okay, I do have something that specifically says his name. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old man. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I hmm. believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. I don't really give a flying fuck what you believe. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. Oh, I, we have a deathbed confession that, like, pretty much you says you were. Mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you. I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's I think we're going to try to get a haircut this weekend. It's bothering me so much. Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You or Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering? I'm testing out different shit. Mm, almost got me. This man is gambling. I use the default. I'm a basic bitch. Default. Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office. Now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. Interesting that uh, the police chief and you've broken this old man's heart. What is going on? I thought he sounded handsome. And of your badging, it's interesting that the police chief knows the doctor. Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children. Cole Phelps banged the German lady. Don't fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell do you think? I mean... Hey, look, it's Cole Phelps' wife. We're never given her name. Marie, listen, Marie, I need Come on. Please leave. You're upsetting oh, Marie, we do get her name. Never mind. Them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Beautiful, beautiful. Ex-wife, Marie. Children, can you imagine what this has 
Also, can we talk about the amount of cleavage Marie has? My father has hired like, damn, girl. Damn. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I mean... I can't stand it, Cole. The, as the old saying goes, I want to kick her out of bed for eating crackers. It's a weird saying. Calling it. Like, that's a weird saying. He's not going to grab that suitcase, huh, Cole? I also like that, how the reporter's taking pictures of him. He just walks up and reaches into his coat. Because that guy's like, oh, shit, he's just going to shoot me. Oh, no. No rest for the wicket. Complete all cases on the vice desk. We found all the clues. We answered all the questions. We damaged all of the property. And we somehow got four stars. Despite mob wars and an unsolved robbery, one story will dominate the newsprint. Vice complete. Your actions have earned you a demotion. Prepare for reassignment. So I can... I can run over anybody I want. I can destroy several cars, tons of vehicle and property damage, get questions wrong, get whole, like, investigations wrong. But sleeping with the German lady, no. So, that is it for this week of L.A. Noir. Um... We'll be back on Tuesday. Howdy, Gruly. How are you today? We are just wrapping up, though. <laughs> um, we just finished. Uh, we just finished the vice desk. Getting laid never hurt anyone. That is empirically untrue. <laughs> and I'm not telling any stories to con corroborate that. Um. So. Um, we just finished, no, 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 just the, uh, the desk we were on. We got demoted to arson from, uh, Vice. We have one, two, three, four, five, we have six more missions. So probably realistically three to four streams. Like, But we start our next desk, Arson. Long game high, yeah. Like, to be fair, I I kind of assumed this would go about 15 or 16 parts. So it doesn't really surprise me. But we're burning through it, actually, I feel like, kind of quick. But either way, it is almost 4 a.m. I have work tomorrow. And uh, I'm hungry and want to... I want to ship some cake into my pie hole. It doesn't make sense. Don't worry about it. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you to Minnie for the... Oh, I'm logged out of my activity feed, huh? Thank you to Minnie for the raid. Thank you to uh, Seagriff for the uh, for the follow and Jagboo for the 17 months... Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for lurking. And thank you for being here. We'll be back Sunday with something I've not yet decided on. But otherwise, I want you all to have a lovely night and a lovely weekend. I will catch you all later. And I forgot also, you know, social medias and stuff, discords and whatnot. In before Zagboo. Um, I forgot it. 
You were good. You almost got it. Um, but I will catch you all later. Bye. I'm not 100% sure on where I'm supposed to be going anymore. I've completely lost the thread. Okay, this one is light above it. So I'm assuming it's different than the others. Yeah, the power up sharp. I'll give it to What the...